The sewing machine runs 24 hours a day. The light irrigation green mats coming off the line will one day water fields, parks and golf courses. Produced by Dietmar Haug's Echo Rain Company, they use almost 70% less water than conventional watering methods. The main advantage we have with this product, or the biggest savings effect, is that we have almost no evaporation. The mat is buried in the earth and delivers water directly to the roots of the plants. The fleece material stores water so that a few minutes of irrigation suffice for an entire day. This is a patented product. In the whole world, there is nothing comparable to our system of distributing water using a fleece. So we're sitting pretty. The mats have already been used in a pilot project in Abu Dhabi. They had to pass a tough test, 50 degrees Celsius in the shade. Closer to home, Dresden's public transport system has equipped part of its rail network with irrigation mats. After just a few hot days, the lawn on the right is dry and yellow. To the left is the area with irrigation mats. Here the grass is green. This is precisely what we want. We train the roots to grow toward the mat. That leads to deeper roots, which makes the lawn much sturdier. Haub's product is in big demand. It's constantly on the go, driving from trade fair to trade fair, visiting ambassadors, city planners and architects. Orders from customers in Australia, Abu Dhabi and the United States already outstrip supply. The idea for the irrigation mat originated here in Chemnitz. The first prototype was developed at the Textile Research Institute, but it's a long way from a laboratory experiment to industrial production. Haub is working with the researchers in a bid to further refine the technology. Today, they're trying out new fleece materials that can store even more water. An essential part of the know-how is in the fleece. And it's not simply a fleece. A lot of brains went into it. We tested it for a very long time before we had the right water storage capacity and the right flow speed. Back in the production hall in Bremen, the machines aren't running as smoothly as they should. The fabric keeps jamming and bringing the machine to a halt. Production is in its infancy, but every problem prompts further improvements. And that's crucial, because the company wants to be able to fill big orders without any stress. For example, to Dubai. At the new airport in Dubai, they'll be putting down 1.2 million square meters of rolled lawn. We are in intense talks with these people, and it would mean we could install 1.2 million square meters of irrigation mats. Of course, that would completely exceed our capacity. That's why we are trying to build a machine that can produce more and work faster. This here is only a prototype. So far, this is the only machine producing irrigation mats. But within a year, Haub wants to set up production in New Zealand, the United States and Malaysia, as soon as things are running smoothly here.